Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the South Dakota State Jackrabbits traveling to take on the UT Chattanooga Mox. The Jackrabbits are 3-3 three three on the season. They just had a heartbreaking loss to the Western Carolina Catamounts, 63-62. They went for two points to try to get the win at the end of the game. They were unsuccessful. And they had 739 yards of offense in that game. 410 on the ground, 329 through the air. And I think they're going to have a lot of success today. And I think they will come out of here with a win, 42-24 uh, to 24 over the Mox. Now the Mox are on a one-game win streak so far. They beat McNeese State, and that is it, 16-13. to 13. The rest of their games, they pretty much got blown out, except for their game against Troy. They only lost that one by 13. Well, on week six, they lost to VMI by about 150. So their defense is not the greatest. So this should be a pretty good matchup for the Jackrabbits, and I'm expecting a victory from them. Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. No complaints about the weather tonight as we need nothing but stars in this contest between the away team and the Tennessee Chattanooga Moccasins. We're about halfway through the season and these two Big 12 teams are ready to get it on. And here come Ox. The Mox appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? The away team is led by their outstanding linebacker. His talent is unparalleled, but what really makes him stand out is his leadership. His team responds to his no-quit attitude, and they should win today. Nice pick, Kirk. I really believe that these guys are going to do it. Well, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield. That is the first time I've seen a player spotlighted at a different position before the game. Mason Smith is a halfback. He also plays linebacker, but they classified him as linebacker at the start of the game. Jamar Hicks opening kickoff. Going to take this one the distance. And the Jackrabbits already with the fireworks. Great way to start this game. 97-yard kickoff to turn four, a touchdown. And the Mox on offense now. Jackson up the middle. He'll get the first down and more. Nice 12-yard run. Second is seven. Essex throwing it. Almost picked off by Major. That is caught. And Mason Smith with a tackle. Essex right side caught by Warren. First down and more. Mason Smith another tackle. First and ten. Jackson right side. Two-yard pickup. Mason Smith with his fourth tackle of the game already. Essex going to take a deep shot right side. Wide open is Warren. He beats Burnett and the corner. And that is usually Chris Major's spot if he's at the safety position. And we will make the switch here so we you know, don't allow more plays like that. Jamar Hicks from the four-yard line. He's got another return here. Left side spins. Jukes makes two people miss. He's in the open field. And Hicks is going to take it the distance for a second kick return for a touchdown in this quarter. Two minutes into it, he's got two returns for touchdowns. Mox on offense, left side, Brown, a lot of speed, past the 40, the 30, pushed out of bounds by Jamar Hicks inside the 25-yard line. Third down and 10. Essex pressured, he's sacked, but there is a flag for the face mask. That'll make it third and five. Essex gonna throw it again here, left side, and he connects with Brown right over the outstretched hand of the defensive back. Mox on for another kickoff. Left side, this is Hicks from the five yard line. He's already got a 97 yarder and a 95 yarder, or 96 yarder. Now he's gonna have a 95 yard kick return for a touchdown. Three in one quarter. What is happening? This is unreal. I've never seen three kick returns for touchdowns in one quarter in all of my days of playing on Heisman. And here's Jamar Hicks with a monstrous hit on the halfback. Tyler Roberts injures his arm on the play. Hopefully he's all right and can return to the game. Essex pressure deflected away by Mason Smith who's having a fantastic day on defense. And they're gonna pitch him the ball here on offense. Jukes the man out of his shoes. Great stiff arm. And he breaks another tackle down to the 32 yard line. He made a corner miss with a juke, stiff armed one safety, got about 10 more yards, stiff-armed another safety. 
Great run. That's the best of his career so far. Tyler Roberts, unfortunately, is done for the year with an upper arm fracture. He's out nine weeks. Jackson fumbles the football, and the Mox will recover it. Uh, Wilson on the recovery. That's the cornerback that just got juked out by Mason Smith. So the Mox with a chance to tie it up here from the 39-yard line. Essex, right side. He's picked off by Mason Smith. That's his first career interception. And he's going to have his first career pick six. That was way too easy. And I don't think the tight end ever saw that pass. Great play from Smith. Definitely the best game of his career so far already. He's got about five tackles, a pick, a touchdown. The best run of his career. And that was just way too easy. So 28-14, the Mox are in trouble here, but they connect with Warren for a nice 11-yard pickup and a first down. Essex, right side. Jackson has it, picks up eight more yards. Second and two. Play action. Essex over the middle, caught. No, it is dropped. Major with a huge hit on the receiver. Jars the ball loose. And great timing by the safety. Third and two. Essex going to throw it again out of the shotgun. Almost picked off again by Mason Smith on the right. So the Jackrabbits take over on offense. Jackson, deep shot. Marks has it at the 46-yard line. He was wide open. This is really the second drive of offense so far for the Jackrabbits. Special teams and defense been scoring all of the points. And here's Daly Redding, two carries in a row. And he'll have close to a first down yet again. Third and inches. Mason, the closer. Smith picks up the first down in short yardage situations. Jackson, pressure, rolling out right side. A lot of green grass in front of him. Takes off, has the first down. Tries the truck through the safety and taken down at the four-yard line. First and go from the four-yard line. Daly Redding gets the carry. He's going to high step for four yards right in front of the defender for the score. Jack Rabbit's pouring it on, 35-14. Can the Mox answer? Essex, deep shot, and it's caught by Warren. There's a drop frame. He didn't see it, but it did happen. Essex, left side. Jamar Hicks deflects the pass away last second. And the Jack Rabbits will take back over on offense. Here's Jackson, deep shot, and Jack Marks breaks off the route. And we're going to take another look at it and see the receiver cost his quarterback an interception. As soon as he pulls the trigger... Jack Marks starts to turn upfield instead of going across the field. So from the 22-yard line, play action. Essex, right, left side, picked off by Jamar Hicks. And he is going to take this one all the way. And that is going to be his fourth touchdown of the game. Three kick returns for a touchdown. One pick six here in the first half. There's still three minutes to go. What else can this young man do? He also has a big hit on the running back earlier in the game as well. He's just having a monstrous performance. And we're already at my predicted score of 14, uh, 42 to 14 as the Jackrabbits get another stop. Jackson sacked, and the Jackrabbits will pump the football away. Second and 10 for Essex. Frank Theory gets his first career sack, and the Mox punt the football away. So we've got the Jackrabbits back on offense. Jackson rolling around, avoiding the defenders all day and he's finding Reinhard Erwandowski up past the 45 yard line he's having a fantastic year over 550 yards receiving and here is TJ Maxey the non-subscriber tight end getting up past the 40 yard line 17 seconds left here in the first half Jackson gonna try to throw it downfield no he's gonna take off has the first down in more and that's gonna set up a field goal right before the half one second remaining the field goal is up and right down the middle so the Jack Rabbits take a 45-14 lead into the half and a very dominating performance. The offense didn't really have to do a whole lot. Special teams and defense are dominating so far. Three kick returns for a touchdown, two pick sixes. Essex is sacked again. That is Frank Theory with his second sack of the game, second of his career. Third and 16. Essex pressured, and that is connected with Brown at the 48-yard line. He connects with him. First down, now third and five. Over the middle, incomplete major on the coverage. Jackrabbits take over again. Mark Jackson rolling around, taking his sweet old time, takes off. He's going to have the first down and more and gets up to the 36-yard line. Redding in the backfield with Jackson, and he's going to throw it out to Redding, who tries to spin and picks up nine yards. Only four of ten today is Lamar Jackson. 
And he connects with Reinhardt and Wendowski here. First down and more up inside the 40-yard line of UT Chattanooga. Second and eight. Jackson left side. Caught by Marks. The defender dove and whiffed. Jack Marks is gone for the score. That's his fifth touchdown on the season. And that puts him over 300 yards receiving as well. Just a poor play by the cornerback. Third and eight. And the Mox try to do a trick play and it goes nowhere. They fumble the football. Fourth and 13. They're going to punt the ball to Jamar Hicks. And he's going to return it from the 40-yard line. And he's got the sideline. Jukes follows his blockers. And Jamar Hicks, unbelievable, has a punt return for a touchdown to go along with three kick returns and a pick six. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm in a loss of words. Essex, deep shot. Down the middle of the field. It's picked off by Chris Major. But there is a flag. They're going to call Major on pass interference. And there was no contact from what I saw. Mox go option, left side, Brown picks up a couple yards, pitches it out to Jackson for a eight yard pickup. Second down and short, Essex gonna throw it over the middle, picked off by Fowler. That's the third interception of the game for this defense. They're playing feisty today. So it's 59-14, Jackrabbits looking to get some more points. Third down and long though. As Jackson rolls out, he's got Brahms North wide open. He's fighting with a defender inside the five, down to the two-yard line. Great play by the tight end. That's his first catch of the game. And that's going to put him over 600 yards receiving, but Lamar Jackson throws a pick in the end zone. That's returned out to the one-yard line. So with a chance to get a, a safety, Essex is hit as he throws, but he connects with Phillips for the first down. Second and nine from the 12th. Left side picked off again. This time it's LeFou or LeFou. I don't know how you say it. Whatever. It's picked off by that guy. Jackson rolling out left side. He's trying to find Erwin Dowski. He's not open. Jackson rolls way back out to the right side. Throws it out and he gets Erwin Dowski anyway for the score. Unbelievable play. Results in a touchdown. Great play by Lamar Jackson. And he ran about 100 yards just to get an 18-yard touchdown pass to Reinhardt Wendowski, and that's his seventh on the season. Essex, play action. Frank Theory sacks him again, his third of the game. He is having a monster performance, as well as the rest of this defense. Essex, deep shot left side. Robinson can't get there. Cooper is in for the score, and the mocks stop the bleeding for a little bit. And the backups are now in. Here's Mason Smith getting a carry, and he'll get the first down. About a 15-yard carry, and he's got 37 today. He came into this game with only 77 yards on the ground. He now has over 100. They're going to keep pounding the rock with him as he gets inside the red zone. Damon Jordan is injured on the play. Mason Smith gets another carry, left side, and picks up nine more yards. He's got 65 today. Jamar Hicks shockingly gets player of the game for the Jackrabbits. Smith, another carry, this time right side in the open field. He's got the score, and that is only his third touchdown run of the season. But that makes it 73-21. to 21. Mox going to keep throwing it downfield. Right side, it's almost intercepted by Chris Major. He misses it, and he finally catches up to Davis at the two-yard line. And Davis is super pumped right now. His team's down 52 points. What better reason to celebrate, right? From the two-yard line, they try the tight end around. Calhoun is stuffed. That is Frank Theory. And again, you need a good defensive tackle to stop that play. And the clock runs out on the Mox. 73-21 is the final. And that was not even close. Jamar Hicks single-handedly beat UT Chattanooga today in a monstrous performance. And the defense really stepped it up today. Four interceptions. A lot of big hits. Frank Theory with three sacks today. Mason Smith with, I think, six or seven tackles. And Jamar Hicks also had some nice tackles. Chris Major, of course, balled out. Only 351 yards of offense for the number one offense in the country, the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. But they weren't really on the field a whole lot. And when they were in the fourth quarter running out the clock, that's all they were doing was running the clock out. 28 points in the first quarter. That was enough to win the game. Don't mind me. I'm just vibing out to the music. 
17 points in the second, 14 in the third, 14 in the fourth. Backups putting up some points. Lamar Jackson, not really a fantastic day for him, but he does now have over 2,000 passing yards at the midway point in the season. Phenomenal player. Daily Redding, only three carries today, one touchdown. Mason Smith, 74 yards and a touchdown, almost doubled his yards on the season. He also had two broken tackles on one play, 120-plus yard run. Reinhardt Wendowski, 67 yards and a touchdown. Jack March, 65 and a touchdown. And that will actually put Reinhardt Erwindowski up over 600 yards receiving on the season. Chad Filler, 14 pancakes. Dan DeBeers, 8. Gray North with 4. So Chad Filler now has 39 pancakes and 2 sacks allowed on the season. Phenomenal player. Mason Smith had 6 tackles. Jamar Hicks had 5. Major with 6, I believe. And Brahms North, the tight end, had a couple tackles. Bunch of tackles for a loss today. I believe that was seven. Four sacks, four interceptions, a lot of return yards. Mason Smith and Hicks, of course, with pick sixes. A lot of deflections. Chris Major, five deflections today. And that'll give him 11 on the year. A couple forced fumbles. None recovered, though, by the defense. Two defensive touchdowns. The first for Mason Smith. A couple punts today. Jamar Hicks, three kick returns, 288 yards, three touchdowns. He had a 97-yarder, a 96-yarder, and a 95-yarder. All return for touchdowns. And a 58-yard punt return for a touchdown. And that was just an unreal performance by him. Players of the game, Hicks, Smith, LeFew. And our next Jackrabbits football game, they'll be traveling to take on the Sam Houston State Bearcats. That is a Week 9 matchup. We'll see them play after our award week, which will be coming up next week. That'll be a fun one. So that'll be it for Week 8, guys. Uh, I think I'll start Tuesday with our award watch list videos. Until then, take it easy, guys.